Well, thank you guys very much. How wonderful to have you here. You know, it is my love and my passion to discover and share new ways to enjoy a healthier lifestyle, and I am so excited to be here with you and you guys at home. You know, I make my living on television and in front of people, and I can tell you from experience, the first thing people notice about you is your smile. The second thing is your breath, and if it's bad, whoo, it can be so embarrassing. You know, until recently, I didn't realize that bad breath can be caused by dry mouth. And here's the crazy thing. Dry mouth creates an environment where bacteria, the really bad stuff, starts to grow in your mouth, and it can affect your overall health. But here, how do you know if you have dry mouth? Okay, answer a couple of questions. Do you smack your lips? Do you find yourself doing this a lot? Do you guys do that? Yeah? Do you keep water by your bedside? Just even getting older or taking drugs over the counter, all of these cause dry mouth. So what do you do? What do you guys do, huh? That's the problem. What do you do? So to find out more about how you can improve your smile, your overall health, and even your quality of life, I'd like to bring out a very special guest. He's a researcher, author, and he is the developer of Splash Tabs. Let's hear it for Tom Hitchens. Tom, hi. Hi, Forbes. How are you? How are you? Good, are you? good. My pleasure. And please, please have a seat. Welcome to my audience. Yeah. So, you know, I didn't realize that all of those symptoms were dry mouth. What is dry mouth? Dry mouth is a condition where your salivary glands stop working. It could be caused by a number of things. Uh, age. Mm -hmm. It could be caused by medical conditions like diabetes or heart conditions or any underlying medical condition. It could be caused by medications that we all take. Well, now, how does dry mouth overall affect us? Well, a dry mouth means an unhealthy mouth, quite simply. Okay. All right. If you have a dry mouth, that means that your bacteria is growing at a rate that is harmful for your body. For instance, when you have a dry mouth, the first bacteria that starts to grow in your mouth is the harmful bacteria. In a healthy mouth, you have two types of bacteria. Bacteria that's good, it helps you digest your food. Right. The other type of bacteria is the type that causes the bad breath that we don't like. Well, but, you know, when I have bad breath, don't you just take mouthwash? Well, you could take mouthwash, but a lot of people use mouthwashes that are sold over the counter mm -hmm. that have alcohol in it. Sometimes 27% content of alcohol. Okay. So it's like trying to kill a, a, a bug with a sledgehammer. You're killing everything in your mouth. You don't want to do that. So the good bacteria goes away as well. That's right. The good bacteria is the last thing to regrow. So in a dry mouth, when you kill the harmful bacteria with the alcohol, you've killed the good bacteria as well. Now, how did you even come to, to discover all of this? Well, it was by accident, quite frankly. Um, my, uh, my family suffers from the same medical conditions all of our families suffer from, the cancers, the, uh, the heart conditions diabetes. Mm -hmm. And my wife and I were very close to our parents and we would frequently find ourselves sitting in the same doctor's offices with our parents while they're treating with their doctors. Okay. And we started to notice that one thing was a common factor from one doctor visit to the other. They all compound medicines one right on top of the other one. One doctor will prescribe two medicines, they go to the heart doctor, there's two or three more, and okay. before you know it they're traveling with a shoebox full of medicine bottles. Can you guys relate okay. to that? So what we, what we started to do was to look into ways that we could help our parents find doctors that were not so medicine happy. Okay. Find ways to live healthier, eat better diets, exercise a little bit, and keep their mouth wetter because we did research and we understood from a, from a family perspective that when you have a dry mouth, you have bad breath. When you have a dry mouth, you have trouble sleeping at night. And the more medications you take, my parents were just suffering terribly, getting up in the middle of the night, drinking water, then having to go to the bathroom all night long. See, I don't think people realize this came from dry mouth. How many people are affected by dry mouth? Well, if you ask the people, they'll say maybe one out of ten. But in reality, it's nine out of ten, and they don't even know it.